Hi, I'm Chief Joe Sanford. The mission of the Kirkland Fire Department is to save lives. To do this, healthy firefighters, who are also emergency medical technicians, must be able to reach you quickly when you need us most. The City Council has placed a measure on the November ballot that funds additional firefighter EMTs to improve response times for fire and emergency medical services. The measure also stockpiles pandemic personal protective equipment and modernizes existing fire stations to protect firefighter health and safety. Finally, the measure builds a new relocated Station 27 east of I-405 in Totem Lake to improve response times in Totem Lake, Kingsgate, and Juanita. The City Council has asked me to explain how this ballot measure improves our ability to respond to COVID-19 and future pandemics so we can reach you in time when you call 911. We never could have predicted that on February 29th, 2020, Kirkland would become the first epicenter for the COVID-19 pandemic in the United States. Unfortunately, seven months later, the pandemic is not over. We anticipate we may experience a resurgence of COVID-19 during flu season this fall and winter. Being prepared for a pandemic keeps our first responders safe so that they can keep our community safe. When the coronavirus outbreak struck in Kirkland in February, we had to place 34 firefighter EMTs, one third of our workforce in quarantine all at once. During the initial response, we had to take an entire fire station out of commission in order to house those exposed firefighter EMTs. With one less fire station to respond to emergencies, when you called 911, it took us longer to get to you. The ballot measure would allow us to hire 20 additional firefighter EMTs to make sure we are prepared for situations like future pandemics and to improve response times to help ensure we can get to you more quickly when you need us most. Being prepared for a pandemic also requires having enough personal protective equipment to prevent our firefighter EMTs from becoming infected as we help others who are sick. As the pandemic spread across the country, it became difficult to secure the proper masks, face shields, gowns, and gloves necessary to protect our first responders and our patients. The experience has taught us that it is prudent to be self-reliant and not wait for uncertain state or federal assistance. Thankfully, when COVID-19 first hit our city, we had a stockpile of personal protective equipment from when an Ebola outbreak was predicted that we could access and wear when responding to calls and provide to patients. However, that supply has diminished since the initial outbreak in February of this year. The ballot measure invests in the stockpiling of PPE, including N95 masks, shields, gloves, gowns, and disinfectant equipment for our aid units. Having these items available in large quantities will help us prepare and take care of our community if we see a resurgence in the fall and winter or experience a future pandemic. Finally, if the ballot measure is approved, a new Station 27 will be built in Totem Lake, east of I-405. The current Station 27 will be retained to enhance the city's ability to provide emergency service during a pandemic. The current station will be used to store stockpiled personal protective equipment and reserve engines and aid cars. The 10 existing bedrooms will be available for firefighters to quarantine at work and avoid the risk of infecting their fellow firefighters, those in our community who call 911 and their loved ones at home. This will help the other fire stations to remain in service to respond quickly to any fire or emergency medical calls. To learn more about how the ballot measure can help Kirkland respond to current and future pandemics, please visit the city's website.